The purpose of this video is to demonstrate what you might expect to see at an American Pointing Labrador Association APLA test for the Advanced Pointing Retriever or APR title. We won't be going over all the rules for APR so much as giving you a broad overview of the components of the test so you won't feel completely unfamiliar come test day. The rules can be found on the APLA website at www.americanpointinglab.com under Rules. In order to test for the APR title, a dog must have first passed the Certified Pointing Retriever Test. The two tests can be run in one weekend. If CPR is passed on day one, APR can be run on day two. Note that a dog does not need to have an APR title in order to test for a Master Pointing Retriever title. The APR test includes the following four series. Water retrieves, consisting of a double marked retrieve each of 75 yards or less. Land retrieves consisting of a double marked retrieve of either dead ducks or pheasant, each mark 75 yards or less. A blind retrieve on land that must occur before the dog is worked in the upland field. Upland work in which the dog has 20 minutes to search for three chucker planted in a five to 10 acre field. Points must be for at least 10 seconds but there is no requirement for the dog to remain steady after the 10 second count is completed. Throughout the APR test, the dog is judged in eight categories. These categories are nose, cooperation, desire, search, point, land retrieves, water retrieves, and blind land retrieve. Testing is scored on a non-competitive basis from zero to five and half point increments in each of these eight categories. Any dog scoring a two or lower in any category will fail and not be allowed to continue the test. A minimum of 24 out of a possible 40 points is required to pass the test and earn the APR title. A marking test evaluates a dog's natural and trained ability to watch where birds fall and to remember the area of the fall. The APLA test strives to simulate natural hunting situations rather than difficult or tricky setups that instead test the degree of training a dog has had. The ultimate objective is to demonstrate that your dog has the rudimentary ability to remember two birds clearly seen and retrieve them both with relative ease. Thus, the sequence of marks for the APR level is typically incorporated in a way that the birds would be expected to fall when hunting. The marks are usually clearly separated using spacing and or natural obstacles or barriers. There should be nothing particularly tricky about these marks. Marks in the water series are dead ducks, which will land either in water or on land, but the line to each mark will cross a significant amount of water. As with the land retrieves, you and your dog will wait behind a holding blind until he's called to the line. You will then walk with your dog off leash to the starting line. The marks are 75 yards or less and the dog must remain steady at the line until released by the judges. Quiet, non-intimidating commands may be used at the line to steady your dog. You will not be holding a gun or any other prop as you might in other hunt test venues. Dogs may pick up the birds in whatever order they or their handler choose, but dogs that hunt the area of one fall, fail to recover the bird and then leave to search for another fall area, are said to have switched and will be scored a zero in the retrieve. If it looks like your dog is about to switch, you may consider handling your dog to the fall. If handling is required, it should be crisp and precise, and you must handle the dog directly to the fall, not just to the area of the fall and allow him to hunt there. You are allowed only one handle on any of the four land and water marks. Bank running, not on the line to the fall, and water entry other than in a direct line from the handler will not necessarily fail your dog, but will severely downgrade his score and remember that all retrieves must be to hand. Marks on land may be either dead pheasant or dead ducks. There are no live flyers used in APLA tests, and the handler carries no prop or gun. You and your dog will wait behind a holding blind until you're called to the line. Then your dog must walk with you off leash to the line. Marks will be 75 yards or less, and the dog must remain steady at the line until released by the judge. 
you may give a quiet, non-intimidating steadying command to your dog at the line. Dogs may pick up the birds in whatever order they or the handler choose, but remember that a switch will be scored a zero in the retrieve. If handling is required because the dog has not marked the fall appropriately, or it starts to leave the area of the fall, the burden of bird recovery switches to the handler. That means you must handle the dog directly to the fall, not just to the area of the fall and then allow him to hunt. Remember, you are allowed only one handle in total on the four land and water marks. APR blinds are to test a dog's ability to retrieve a downed pheasant or duck it didn't see at a reasonably short distance of 30 to 50 yards with few obstacles or diversions in the way. The land blind must be done prior to the upland series and must not be influenced by any part of the land or water retrieving series. Thus, the blind will not be located between or close to the marks used in any of the other retrieves and may be done as a separate series in the test. As with any handling, the dog is expected to be handled to the bird, not simply to the area of the bird and allowed to hunt and then come across it from downwind. Here are some examples of how an APR level blind may be set up. It can be in the wide open, near cover, in very light cover, through some cover, or just over a gully or a path or on top of a small rise. Although it shouldn't have many obstacles or diversions in the way, it may involve a little something that would require you to handle your dog. A lot of handlers are nervous about the blind. Remember the key factor being judged in the blind retrieve test at the APR level is control. It's highly desirable for your dog to demonstrate the ability to promptly and willingly respond to your commands, whether whistle, voice, or directional. While you should try to keep your dog in a reasonable corridor in line with the blind, it's not required that your dog lines the blind to achieve a perfect score. A dog that responds to direction should take the original direction given to it by the handler and continue on until it either makes the find or until stopped by the handler and given a new direction. Isolated whistle or cast refusals are acceptable, but multiple refusals indicate a lack of control and will likely downgrade the land blind and cooperation scores. At the APR level, the dog will have 20 minutes to search a 5 to 10 acre field of light to medium cover for three chucker. Although handlers most often are concerned about the pointing aspect of the test, it's important to remember that your dog is being judged on many other factors besides pointing. He will be judged on the consistency and effectiveness of using his nose in finding birds, responding to commands or signals given by the handler, and his desire to hunt, retrieve, and work. As for the pointing, once your dog finds and points a bird, he must remain motionless in a standing position for at least 10 seconds. Movement of the head or tail is allowed. The judges determine when the dog goes on point, not the handler, and only after the judges start the 10 second count may you give a quiet, non-intimidating steadying command to your dog, if desired. The dog may reposition itself while on point, but if it does so before 10 seconds, upon re-establishing point, the 10 second count will start anew. Upon completion of a 10 second count, creeping on point or willful flushing or catching birds may result in a lower pointing score but will not necessarily fail your dog as there is no requirement that your dog at the APR level be steady to wing, shot, and fall. Your dog does not have to wait for the judge to release him for the retrieve, but all retrieves must be to hand. In the event the gunner cannot down the produced bird, a simulated retrieve will be done. The dog does not have to be steady to wing and shot so the dog can start the simulated retrieve as soon as the bird is tossed in the air. We hope this video has been helpful in explaining the APLA's Advanced Pointing Retriever Test to you. Please remember to consult the rule book at www.americanpointinglab.com under Rules for a thorough treatment of how the APR test is conducted.